together. Chain. Fredo too real. He real Fredo like hit me for 12, 15, 20 bands, but his number still low for me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Man, Huntsville. will you ever do anything else with Fredo Bang? Yeah, I, I talked to Fredo uh, probably a couple months ago. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, man, you know what? The numbers the number don't change. So yeah, most yeah. definitely I got to I want to see y'all do Because the numbers don't together. change. Fredo too real. He real Fredo like, could hit me for 12, 15, 20 bands, but his number's still low for me. I yeah. got a low number. The number's still the same, so I respect Fredo Bang. He one of the, one, the ones I respect out the music industry the most. You think you can talk about this? Drake, Drake goes. Put him to sleep, yeah. If he, he drop a diss, I wait a year to get the case. That guy can what? Top bodies. Zaytoven did that bodies beat. I'm asking you, can you top it? Once you Man, go you in, know, my music I'm always getting better. I'm expecting something bigger. You go back in, with go back Bang. in. It gotta be bigger than bodies. That's what I'm it telling. It gotta be. It gotta be. <laughs> You know, if I go back with Gage, I said, why you ain't got the song? Yeah, look, man, I ain't got the song ready yet. It got to be bigger than why she talking. She talking. Nah, for real. For a bread when the hoes gonna choose. I'm a motherfucker pimp. You can tell from my shoe. And why she talking was a big song. It was a big song. Yeah. So you got to come back in with an energy to top that. And I know a lot of times, even I think even Dr. Dre a lot of times, we, we don't hear a lot of music from him because he fear what he can't top. He got to top it. You hear what I just said? You know, he got to top it. <laughs> he got to top what you he know, did. You messed that legacy up, playing. Yeah. yeah. It is not nothing to play with true so man like will i ever get to see you and boosie back together doing something i ain't do it me and ruga she yeah. ain't silent forever niggas yeah. don't like went the name and the mother niggas ain't got and died. what um Man, you know, every time the boost This boss talk, we in the South. Yeah. He's yeah, fucking gonna come. I'm you, with this, it. This, I'm, I'm not over it. there. I, I, hey, I, I love, I love Jumper. I see no jump. I see all. But when I seen the interview, this the South, nigga. This the South. So when we I gotta start get talking, real. I'm saucing it up. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Boosie, you know. Yeah, we gonna do something. Like I was saying, the Boosie badge is always when the South Boy. by Southwest and this and that. But I was really trying to go to the Boosie badge and perform this year. Okay. But I got called in for. The South by Southwest because I had a, 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 a new weed strand coming out, a okay. CBD strand called uh, by Thrax. We didn't talk about that. Yeah, Thrax got a new. That's what so, caused you not to go over there. That's what caused me not to go because okay. I was getting a new strand and trying to put that out and focusing on that. But yeah, man, Boost my dog. I love Boost. Yeah, how was it? Like I said, when you met him and everything, have you talked to him since y'all did that actual work together? Man, you know what? I think I bumped into him once, but before all the music, before I start rapping, me and Boosie always been cool. Cause when Boosie come to the city, they call me to rock with Boosie. They like go rock, go make sure Boosie's straight. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. So when he came to Huntsville, I'm rocking out with him anyway. So we always been cool. Wow, man! Like I said, you Southwood winning. Uh, Rizzo, Rizzo, like it's certain ones that have been on here from the from that from that Sauce Walker camp. So yeah, I seen Rizzo back. interview. Yeah, it yeah, was hard. yeah, it was Rizzo hard. Rizzo came with Houston. facts. He came with facts though. Yeah. Rizzo stood yeah. on business. Yeah, Rizzo stood he on business. Does. Yeah, he, like I said, he, I enjoyed his coach. interview. He wanted them more. He got heart. Mm -hmm. Got a big heart, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and I love that about him, man. I can't wait to interview him again either. Mm -hmm. How was it when you and uh, Southwood and them did that pop it though? How was it? Like, How was it, man? When I got there, you know, I was on crutches then. I know you. You were you were so, leaning on niggas. I see you. I see hey, you trying to stand through. up. So I was out there, man. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting on walk. Walk don't want to show up to two or three in the morning. That's the celebrity status stuff. Then we on that. that. We on the oil. <laughs> we on that mud. You know they call drinking drink is drink. Nah, we on mud. Mm -hmm. We on mud. It's muddy. It's purple. The whole thing muddy. So we out there about sleep. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. We start shooting that video. Pop it for some pippin. Pop it for some pippin. Get down on your knees. Shake that ass into that. So we ain't been to sleep. So I'm like, hold up, y'all. This, this what y'all niggas doing? I'm like, hold up, man. Nigga gotta go go to sleep. We shoot this in a minute. Nah, let's go. We finna start right now. So we started shooting that video at 8 in the morning, bro. We probably, we didn't even finish all of that morning. We stopped shooting about 11. Went home, went to sleep, woke up that night, came back the next day to finish the video. So, you know, we walked them. They really on the grind over there at the, at the uh, TSF studio at the office over there. Everybody working. Video over it. While I'm shooting my video, it's three or four more videos being wow. shot. That's hard. At the same time.
That's hard. Like, like, where do you think he get that work ethic from like that? You know, I think that if you're making that money out for it, you get getting five or 6000 every time you do it, that's going to make you work too. Motivation. <laughs> Motivation. Hey, that Motivation. money he holding in the video, he just made, <laughs> he just that. made that. So shit, yeah. I'll be dancing around. I tried to start dancing if you watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Brad, what a cane in the building on Boss Talk 101, man. Say, so, I, I seen you... Uh Hugging uh, my boy, y'all kind of dapped it up too. A drama boy up there. Oh yeah, you yeah, met yeah. him. I, you and him, I already knew each other. I <laughs> man. met drama boy. You supposed to be on Boss Talk One On One. For twice, sure, nigga. I got drum. Drum I mean, coming. We, we, we drum coming, people. man. Just, drum good. We be missing each other. Yeah, drum good though. He's solid. Uh, I used to go I, before I started rapping. I used to always be at Drama Boy Studio with his brother Insane Wayne, R.I.P. The Insane Wayne, and. Um, my boy GQ. Okay. GQ used to be over there. So we go over there, you know, hang out, smoke. You know, Dolph used to be over there a lot. Yeah, RIP. So RIP to Dolph. He used to be on the couch. He used to be over there. Gangsta Boo used to be over Gangsta there. RIP to Gangsta, Gangsta Boo. Boo. I met all of them over there with Drama Boy. And then uh, me and his brother had the same PR and management team called Alas Vision, Shantan Mimi. So I was there when he did, when they did all that stuff. We was always together. When Drama opened his new um, uh, clothing store. I was there. Wow. You know, that's why Wayne got... Um, Shout out to that clothing. So that's why yeah, I met that's him. That's why he I got took down there. Clothes. So, But, uh, man, Drum, good dude. Solid. Always on the go, though. He never was really in there. He was always out of town, but he would leave us in there to mess around. So I respect Drum for that. Did y'all, y'all, you just seen him at the No Jumper set? Yeah, I just seen him. Yeah, no that jumper. was hard, huh? Hard. What was that conversation like? Man, he was just telling me it's time for us to work together. He want to help me work on an album. We was talking about the budget. We was talking about when we get time that uh, we're going to hit each other up so we can go over there and start working. Wow. I love to see it. I can't wait to see it, that you guys move the culture for, forward mm -hmm. with those, you know, with those connections and those those uh, different projects that you guys put together. Mm -hmm. How important is it now? Because you're independent right now, right? Mm -hmm. So how, how important is it, the layout, how you bring those projects out? How do you do it in this, in this day and time when... Everybody used to be so, you know, uh, reliant on a, a, a on a on, on the big boys on mm -hmm. on, on the uh, got to sign a deal, yeah, and gotta all sign that. A deal. You know, like now you doing it on your own. Yeah. you know, you're not signing to a label so much. How do you maneuver in this in in this climate? Man, you know me. I just stay in my own lane. I don't really listen to other people's music. I don't really pay attention to other people's Instagram and how they doing things. But how I do it, I stick to my PR team, Hip Hop United. Salute to them. Uh, it's gorgeous music. Salute to them. Um, we just go with the blogs and the sites that I've been using to try to market it in a small marketing way. You know, the big machine gonna get you everywhere, but the small, we doing this small with my budget. I'm paying for everything out of my pocket, everything you ever seen me do. I always pay for every dollar, every dime. Nobody wow. never did nothing for me for free. So that's how I do it. I just go to the bloggers, marketing, let them go from there. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.